welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha today I'm going to show you how to cut crap on using Cricut you're also going to learn that sometimes it's necessary to adjust a material settings to get the best results now let's begin I'm using crap on of different thicknesses this one is one millimeter the glitter phone is one and a half millimeters and this one is two millimeters every time you use a new material i recommend testing it by cutting a simple shape which is what i will do now insert a circle modify the dimensions now click on make it i'm going to move it slightly to the right continue I'm using Cricut Maker, select the material, go to browse all materials, type font in the search box and select craft font. It is important to move the star wheels all the way to the right, make sure the material is not wider than 11 inches and is secure to the strong grid mat using masking tape on all four sides. I'm going to load the deep cut blade and the mat. I have already placed a piece of foam on the strong grip mat. Even though it doesn't look like the mat I'm using is new, the marks you see on it are the residues left by a previous project where I used leather. If your mat is not very sticky, add masking tape around the edges of the foam to keep it in place. I've placed the deep cut blade in clamp B. Now I'm going to move the plastic wheels to the right to avoid getting marks on the phone. Load the mat and start the job. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut this circle took about 25 seconds. Remove the circle. I'm not happy with the results. I'm pretty sure this is due to my blade being dull. I haven't changed it in a while. Now I'm going to change the blade. If you have the housing for the deep cut blade, you only need to buy the blades. I changed the blade and I will send the circle to be cut again. The cut looks fantastic and I was right, my first cut wasn't good due to the blade. Here you can see the difference between the cut of a dull blade and a new one. While it's hard to see, there are marks on the mat from the pressure used in the last cut. I don't think I need that much pressure to cut 1mm foam, so I will reduce it. Now I'm going to use a little more advanced image from Cricut Access. This is the image I'm going to use, click on insert, modify the dimensions, delete the circle. Now I'm going to create a new material based on the craft phone settings but with less pressure. Click on the three lines on the left corner. Now click on manage custom materials, select your device. First, I'm going to review the settings of craft phone. The pressure is 182, the number of passes is set to off, and it asks for the deep cut blade. Now I'm going to add a new material. I'm going to call it craft phone 1 mm. Save it. For this new material, I'm going to use the deep cut blade, a pressure of 140, and I will keep the number of passes set to off. Click on save. Back to canvas and click on make it. Move the design to the right. Continue. Select the material, click on browse all materials. Select craft phone one millimeter. I have the deep cut blade in place and now I'm going to load the mat. This is the result of the cut using the craft phone one millimeter settings. It looks pretty good. However, I think I can reduce the pressure a little more. I'm going to test it a few more times, then I will share my favorite settings. After a couple tests, I'm going to reduce a little more the pressure on the material I created. Go to Manage Custom Materials, select your device, 
I'm going to edit this material and reduce the pressure to 120. If you are not using a new blade, 140 may work best with you. Now click on make it. Move the design to the right. Continue. Select the material, type font in the search box. Select craft font 1mm. I've already placed the deep cut blade. Now load the mat. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to get this image took about 40 seconds. As you can see, the cut using these settings looks pretty good. Now I'm going to cut this mask using the same settings. Remove the design from the mat, as you can see, the mask looks fantastic. I also cut this mask using the settings of craft phone 1mm. Now I'm going to cut this circle in glitter font. Click on make it. Move it slightly to the right. Continue. Now select the material. Go to browse all materials. Type font in the search box. Select glitter craft font. Load the fine point blade and the mat. I placed the fine point blade and now I'm going to load the mat. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this circle took about 25 seconds. The fine point blade didn't cut through the material, even though it made two passes. Now everything is lost, you can make an opening and pull out the shape. I'm going to send it to cut again, but this time I'm going to use the settings for craft font that use the deep cut blade. Click on make it. I'm going to move the design to where I put the piece of font. Continue. Now select the material, go to browse all materials, type font in the search box and select craft font. I've already placed the deep cut blade, now load the mat. If your mat is not very sticky, use masking tape around the phone. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this circle took about 10 seconds. The cut using the deep cut blade looks phenomenal. Now I'm going to cut this image, but before I do, once again I'm going to create a new material. Go to Manage Custom Materials, select your Cricut device. I'm going to create a new material based on the craft phone settings, but I'm going to reduce the pressure. Add a new material, I'm going to call it Glitter Phone AM. Save. I'm going to use the deep cut plate with a pressure of 165. Click on Save. Now click on make it, continue, select the material, go to browser, select glitter phone AM, load the deep cut blade and the mat. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this image took about 30 seconds. The cut using these settings came out pretty well. Now I'm going to cut this image using the Glitter Phone AM settings. This image cut is a little more complicated but it still looks great. Now I'm going to cut this circle in a piece of craft phone of 2 millimeters. Click on make it, move it slightly to the right, continue, select the material, go to browse all materials, select Eva phone. I've already placed the edit cut plate, now load the mat. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this shape took about 30 seconds. The cat looks pretty good. 
I also used the EVA font settings to cut these numbers and the results were also good. I continued working with the EVA font settings, but I started getting poor results. I knew it couldn't be the blade because I just changed it at the beginning of the video. I continued testing and I decided to use the knife blade to cut EVA font of 2mm and the result was excellent. I'm going to cut these clouds using the knife blade, but before I want to show you something. Go to manage custom materials. Select your Cricut device. I want to show you that the materials that use the knife blade cannot be modified at the moment and I cannot create a new material that use this blade. What I'm going to do to cut the EVA phone of 2mm of thickness is to use the tooling leather settings. But I'm going to make one pass instead of four. When the first pass is done, I will pause the project and remove the mat. Now I'm going to modify the dimensions, click on attach and now click on make it. Click on continue, select the material, type tooling in the search box, select tooling leather 0.8 millimeters, load the knife blade and the mat. I've already placed the knife blade, now I'm going to load the mat. I fast forward this part of the video. It is critical to pause the machine when one pass is complete, then unload the mat. One pass is enough to cut EVA phone of 2mm when you are using the knife blade. The results are fantastic. I'm going to compare it to the piece cut by the deep cut blade. As you can see, there is a big difference. If you are going to modify a material settings, I recommend creating one instead of changing an existing one. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in a Cricut, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy it in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.